it's up here to 11 16 a.m. Wednesday, August 24, 2022. Thought I'd share some of the ride on the, uh, on the Tempe Streetcar with you. It's more like a little Tempe travel, but anyway, Tempe Streetcar. We're just uh, wrapping around Arizona State University. Open on the left. And there goes the ASU bus headed to the downtown campus. Right there. We see a jump circle there. We can see 
not sure the, the actual name of that beat right there, but it's often referred to as A Mountain. There's the giant, the giant A for ASU up there. Can't really see it from this angle. It's a pretty thing, yellow thing in the middle there. And there went the light rail, headed eastbound towards Mesa. kind of too bad because uh, some of the worst traffic jams some of the worst traffic jams that I've ever ever seen in the, in the valley have been on the stretch of Rio Salado between uh, Mill Avenue and uh, between Mill Avenue and rural Warm and humid out today, by the way. The third street has a green light, but I have a don't walk sign. Uh, uh, yeah, no one has red lights. I'm, I'm, I'm just going. I'm just going. Local patrol right here. Seems like they used to be located someplace else. It's kind of funny. I, I noticed one thing that the, the businesses that have been around for an extended period of time in central Tempe do seem to be constantly moving locations. Um, it's kind of weird the way things have changed here. I mean, I've seen so many different phases of Tempe development since I started. I started like really hanging out. Uh, I want to say in the early 90s, you know, after like 92 when I became a cab driver. Although I definitely came down here in, in 91 after I moved back to Phoenix towards the end of 91 just to sort of hang out in Tempe and hang out on Mill. And also, uh, I dig the public art through here, this is pretty neat. Um, also, uh, also came down here uh, as a teenager in the late 80s whenever I had friends that had vehicles that could get me down here. Um, as, as a teenager, uh, I, I would spend the summers with my father who lived near Metro Center and then uh, the winters, you know, the school year with my mother in uh, Douglas, Wyoming. And I, I, had a, I had a truck in Douglas. I pretty much always had a vehicle as a teenager in Douglas, but uh, yeah, never never had a vehicle or access to a vehicle as a teenager here in Phoenix. And my 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 dad wasn't at all about letting me drive uh, drive any of his vehicles. And uh, uh, around the time I got a driver's license, I just wasn't even interested in in coming here to spend the summers with him anymore. I just I was way more into way more into doing my own thing with my truck in Douglas, Wyoming. But, uh, oh. I have no idea when the train will be coming here. Just kind of killing time uh, while I wait for it. Um, so, uh, as I mentioned in the last video, um, oh look, there goes the Tempe. There goes a Tempe streetcar. I don't know if y'all were able to see it. I just barely saw it. So it, it does something uh, kind of different through um, this part of Tempe. Oh, here's definitely one of the issues with living in Tempe. I'm glad I finally got an example of it. Um, this is generally what happens if you lock your bicycle at a bike rack. Oh yeah. 
That looks like that was a pretty nice bite too. But yeah, I see this happen a lot. In fact, um, you can you can Google it, but I do believe, if not currently, at one point in time, uh, Tempe had the worst statistics for bicycle theft uh, in the United States. Like they were number one for bike thefts. So. Um, yeah, there was a time I used to ride a bike around Tempe quite a bit, but uh, always, always, if I couldn't, if I couldn't bring it inside the building I was going to, I didn't ride a bike. No way I was leaving my bike in a rack to be boned out like that, or some, or otherwise completely stolen. So, these are neat Hayden Square condominiums. I've been to so many good house parties in these places and had so many different friends living in them over the years. Um, yeah, this is the first place I, I first development I remember. Um, in the, uh, I think these are built. I want to say these are either built in the late '80s or early '90s, but definitely one of the first residential developments in downtown Tempe. Um, and of course, now you've got all these other residential towers that have West Six there in the background. But uh, I, I dig the Hayden Square condos are still there. I can only imagine what those places. Uh, sell and rent for now. I mean, they, they were expensive in the 90s. They've got to make a small fortune. But, um, and, and called Hayden Square Condominium is because um, going that way, if I walk through them, which I'm not going to because I want to make sure I don't miss my train. In fact, I think I owe, oh, there's my train right now. Yep, got to wrap this up short because I am not missing my train. Thanks for coming with on the walk. 